This is the third video in the series about the motor control circuit and in this video you can see some basics about how to make automatic lines. In this video you can see how to use the router to make automatic lines. The router has got its own menu here and uh, as you can see the shortcut to the router is the button half and uh, then you have a few other uh, shortcut buttons. Instead of explaining all the buttons here I'll simply let you know that you can see and re-see uh, all the uh, shortcuts here and then I'll simply show you how to use uh, the shortcuts. Again, the shortcut to the router is half and if I press a button half when I mark a symbol like this one you can see that now I get suggested lines for the connection of this motor. I'm very sure that it wouldn't work very well if I just connected the lines here because it would be the uh, phase 3 and PE and, and the neutral wire. However, I can use a um, larger than uh, button and then you can see it jumps. So now it was more or less ready for connection. Again, I wouldn't connect the U to phase 3, V to phase 2 is ok and W to phase 1 is not ok. I can use a button 3 to reverse the order. And if this this is what I, I like, I can press the button 1 and then it's connected. So try once again here, the button half and larger than and 1 and then it's connected. And that is sort of, of okay uh, to, to, to do that if, if you've done it uh, a couple of times and then place the symbols as we just did before and then we can connect them like this. However, if I have a, a, a symbol or a component um, uh, with me, you can see when the my router is active, it's ready to be connected at once. If I press it larger than twice, then I'm ready here. Give it a question mark, control plus, and then you see this one is ready again, and once more, now it's ready, and escape, and you can mark all of those and say I want to space them, first one here, 40 millimeters, the line and the name order, and that's it. So that's how to use uh, the router on this page. I could also use my router when I go to this page with the control circuit. If I place a lamp, you can see here again it will be connected uh, upwards and downwards and um, and that's okay. I can add lamps and now it's, it's simply just, um, just symbols uh, because I can do the same as I did before. Place them, mark them, uh, line and s or, or space and say oh, I want my, my first one here. 40 millimeters apart and a line and all that and everything is okay. But I might also want to have a lamp that is connected only upwards or downwards and for that I can use the button 2. If I press 2, goes down, goes upwards because it will connect to where it's closest and that means that if I want it up here, this one, give it a question mark and this one down here and another question mark. So that's what I can do with the router too. And we can just place this one up here too. And again I had my router here and at the moment you can see the 2 is here that was only nearest direction. I can on and off. But if I go to line router here you can see now I don't have very many um, uh, very many shortcuts. That means that if I go in here and say now I want to make a line, press the half again, you see, here I can make lines between those and between those. That could be okay. What about the angle line? If I take this one, you see, nicely, this one, this one, and that's how to use the ruler. And um, again, I can do it this way and across to jump to the next one. doesn't really make sense this one but just to uh, let you see the possibilities you have here. So angle lines or straight lines, automatic lines, it all comes uh, with this router here. Um, so just a small introduction to how you can make your diagrams.